How close are we to developing Star Wars-like prosthetics for people? I spoke to Dr. Ravi Vardyanathan, a senior lecturer in biomechatronics from the Department of Mechanical Engineering at Imperial College London. One of the major challenges right now for actual use is, um, is robustness and accessibility. For example, a lot of work that happens to work very well in controlled environments like laboratories or clinics starts to break down if used repeatedly in the real world. We've developed as a sensor that picks up the vibrations that muscles move. I mean, if, in fact, if you, could, if you flex your muscle and put your ear against it and form a good seal with your ear on your bicep, flex your bicep, you'll hear a low, almost gurgling kind of sound. That's the vibrations that muscle fibers are making as they move against each other when they move. We've developed a sensor that um, that can pick up those vibrations and harness them. So essentially, if it's sensing your muscle moving and moving the hand, it's like it's similar to other kinds of, well, it's similar to moving your natural hand, but also it's similar to what most other people use, which is the electrical artifacts. But our sensor for the mechanical, for picking up the vibration, is cheaper and potentially more robust. Alex Lewis has started work with the Imperial team. He's come to the college to demonstrate the technology. So at the moment, I'm controlling the hand through my muscles. So one on the right-hand side of my arm and one on the left-hand side. And I believe it's all through murmurs, and it's a very slight movement to open the hand and close it. Uh, what's interesting about the technology is that it's far easier than my current myoelectric prosthesis, uh, which is a more aggressive uh, use of my muscles which tires them very quickly, which then makes it you know, untenable for using it for long periods of time. Dr. Vaidyanathan and his team are exploring how to commercialise the technology with Imperial Innovations. Certainly we're hoping to go beyond um, artificial hands. We're actually talking about using, uh, using it to help knee joints and um, the legs. We are doing, we've just started a significant research program with South, the University of Southampton Physiotherapy Department to use it for stroke rehabilitation. If we could make it wireless, we could just put a band on someone where they could flex a muscle and turn the lights on and off in their house, or maybe channel surf on their TV. Small things that, um, that would just make, make their lives a little bit easier.